represent. This is what I do. You are now listening to the most electrified and vilified podcast on the net. Hot Topics Podcast. Let's get this party started. You feel like you achieved something in life. <laughs> hey, you know what today is? What is today? Thursday. It's not hate or Monday. Okay. Whatever. Okay. We love- can hate whatever day we want. It's love Thursday. <laughs> oh, my gracious. Welcome to the Hot Topics Podcast. This is your host, Psycho4081, and I'm here with... Lamb Chop. And what's my name again? Juicy. <laughs> the, the notorious, felonious no, no, no. feather. No, no, we take it. I, I thought we took notorious off. Yeah. We took notorious off? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, yeah. The juicy, <laughs> felonious feather. <laughs> How's that? I don't know. <laughs> So today we have a special episode and we're going to, this is going to be all about women. Yay. So, you know, as the, as a male here, you know, I always make it about women. They are the first priority in everything. The lightning is going to come and strike <laughs> you right down. Let me back up before it gets me. Lies, all lies. Yes. So we're going to talk about um, love and life. That what, is that what we're going to talk about? Love and life? If that, that's what you said. <laughs> that's what you said. Yes. Um, and what women want. That's what you yes. said. In regards to love, in regards to life, what do women really want? And that's what we're going to talk about today. And um, the guys are going to be listening on this one because it probably is more important to the guys than the women, would you say? I don't know. Because women already know what they want. They, they don't want to hear what other I, women I don't, want. I don't think a lot of women know what they, they want. want. <laughs> that, now see, that's our philosophy that yeah. women don't know what they want. Yeah. So now, now we get to hear it. Okay. Okay. And for the um, people who are on, this is, um, you know, say how however you want to express yourself. You can express yourself. It's not a big deal. We all adults here, you know, so if you want to curse or, or um, send nudes or anything like that. You're you're welcome. Should we do a disclaimer? <laughs> Put a disclaimer. The saying language. We would just a uh, listener discretion is advised. Yes. They listener. may be explicit language. Okay. For you guys, I no, covered. No, you know what? It's it's marked. We label it explicit. Okay. Well, I'm just giving a That's reminder. Good. I'm just okay. you know I'm the the not the moderator. I'm not sure, really sure what you you're the moderator. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just you know it's always nice to remind people. So now here we have um, a woman in her 30s, a woman in her 40s, and a woman in her post 40s. That's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can say in her 60s. In her 60s. Well, no, I won't say 60s. 60. The woman cl- like close to 70? No, I just turned 60. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, well, oh yeah, well I'm sixty. What? Well, I'll be sixty one in December. Oh, you still, you still not. So we're having a party in December. Yay! <laughs> no, I had no one. I had one birthday party in my entire life, and that, it snowed. First... Really? And I said, "That's it. I'm not. I'm not planning anymore," because December weather is so unpredictable. Um, yeah. Correct. It yeah. really is, and I was just like, "Oh." Well, we're and having a party regardless. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we could do dinner or something. That's why her, her whatever, theme song is whatever. Like, like, to party all the time. <laughs> oh, you're turning the four? Let's have a party. <laughs> oh, it's Sunday? <laughs> Let's have a party. Hey, I ain't mad. That's what you do in your 30s. You're supposed to do that. I ain't mad. In your 20s and 30s, that's what you're supposed to do. So damn. Yeah, I, I tell you. Well, everybody doesn't have a boring life like you. You, you just Listen, listen. My life is uh, boring. <laughs> Everybody can't party three boring. days a week. Hey. I say go for it. Boring. I say go for it. You know, if you can't get out there and do well, it, you do make it. me feel like a party person. Like you are a party person. That's why you're tired. There's nothing wrong with that. Though. I didn't say I went wrong, to but see, work. You, work is not party. It's not partying, but you you didn't get the rest when you had the opportunity because you was partying. Am I right? When. Oh yeah, this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> she can rest in her sixties. Go for it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. So, 
All right, we have a partier and we have some whatever. <laughs> He's He's bored. Some boring. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Let's we'll just kick it off right this. Yep. Don't ask me. Ask ask her. <laughs> okay. Switch over to lamb chop. No, but see, she's well. All right, we'll ask anyway. She's what? Nothing. She's. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna say old. Oh, that's no, what no, he was no, gonna, gonna say. say that. She's ma- it's that, it's that oh, mature. mature. Maybe that's what she was gonna no, say. No. Well, it's different age range, just so right. You know, I was going with the you know the preschooler first, and then no, you, know, you go did to the not. old schooler. <laughs> oh my god, so. no, you did not say preschooler and old schooler. All right, so what the guys want to know? This is basically where the questions really you know come from. What do guys want to know? Right? You know about what? About, about women, women right? Okay. What qualities do you value most in a partner? That's a big one. What in the guy, in the mm-hmm. guy, yeah. Well, unless you you know. <laughs> and a partner we'll unless say partner. I swing both ways yeah. right right we'll yeah. say partner I just swing both ways okay since okay. now <laughs> since, <today. laughs> since now she says since today <laughs> so you just say partner so that covers yeah. everybody mm-hmm. why are you looking at me I'm talking to you <laughs> <laughs> well for me looks matter for looks? me That's yes not a, is that a quality it is a quality yeah, yeah. okay handsome yeah okay of course, even sometimes when love fades away or whatever fades away, I look at you and I'm like, okay, well, I can try. Yeah, I can, I can, I can hang in there. <laughs> it's not that bad. I can. Okay, I look at the face. And I'm like, okay, well, yeah. But if you're ugly, it will make my matters worse. So, yeah. but but that's that's one of the things that actually go first. Well, yeah. Uh, for now, it's yep. still. I'm not old, so I don't know. Maybe when I'm older or when I'm okay. old. So you don't look at things in the long run. You don't look at a person and say, "Okay, this is going to be my favorite." Because that's going to matter too to me. So t- sometimes you get me mad and all of that, and and I'm mad at your face. But if I see that, <laughs> <laughs> but if I see this and something, I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah, whatever. I'll just hang in there because because he's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so. okay, but then that's just, I'm just saying, oh, well, they say don't judge a book by its cover. Right. So it's just the cover that makes me want to look into the book for me. Okay. So there are qualities, it, besides qualities, physical appearance mm-hmm. matters okay. for me. Like good teeth, mm-hmm. nice smile, handsome face, uh, taller than me, definitely. Because, yeah. yeah. Everybody's taller than me, so, <laughs> so yeah. her too. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so yeah. So first, the physical matters to mm-hmm. me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So got to be physically attractive. Right. Yes. First for, and foremost. Yes. Okay. If, if that's not happening, yes. you don't get to step two. Exactly. Okay. For me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And have you always been that way? Have I always been that way? Because you're in your thirties now. Like, did you have the same thing back when you were in your twenties? I would say I've. Okay. So let me let me give you an instance. Yeah. There was this guy I was talking to over the phone. Somebody, when I was younger, I was like in my, I was like 18, 19, they mm-hmm. about, and somebody uh, introduced us, like we, we're talking friends, we used to talk text, and I, this guy had this really huge, deep voice, oh my God, I was in love, <laughs> <laughs> and then we decided to meet, but he was not up to par, he wasn't oh. up to the voice, and I'm like, oh, oh my God, <laughs> no, you know, so yeah. It so does, none of the things that he said impressed you enough to... It, it, I really love the fact, so I I try to overlook. So that's what I'm saying. So sometimes I try to overlook, like oh, okay, you're not even all that. But so so, the, so it was the voice that got you, huh? Oh <laughs> not that God. kind of voice. Was voice? <laughs> was what is wrong with you? The voice, the one voice that got you. Not that kind of voice. Oh, okay. So this voice don't. Uh, no, it's not working. Slide down. No. Oh. <laughs> so glad I. So glad I said you. Yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the glasses. Let the glasses uh-huh. slide down. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. All right. So, all right, you got <laughs> you got past the physical, and then what? Okay, so for me, besides the physical, yeah, I like a smart guy. Yeah, okay. good sense of humor. Okay, definitely top, 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 top for me because I'm funny. Dimitri, <laughs> E equals MC it, square. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm being I'm being the smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> e equals MC square. Well, well, sorry, I don't do old man. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. And, and then you know what's funny between us? We go out there, and then a lot of times, like, oh, is that your daughter? I know, right? I'm like, yes. Oh my yes. god, <laughs> no! Because <laughs> I'm so tiny, it makes matters worse. Like, oh my god, no, he's not. I, this cannot be my dad. Never, ever. <laughs> I feel sorry for his kids. No, I'm saying that I can never be your dad. I saw, I saw your mom. 
Whatever. So oh, I'm always God. way older than you. She is not. What is wrong? Nine with years you? is a lot. She's not. What? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, your mom's not that much older than me. She is. She was uh, born in 1961. Oh, my God. I could be your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 70. Yeah, that's nine years. Right. Yeah. So when you was born, mm-hmm. I was eligible. Mm, 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 mm. So going forward, good yes. thing that we've got the DNA test done, mm, so just mm, to make mm. sure. Just stop. Let her finish, please. <laughs> going forward, as I was saying, yes. Um, so I, I, I lost my train of thought. Who was his again? Yeah. Yes. But anyways, yes. Um, sense of humor, smartness. Yes, it matters to me a lot. Yeah, the every other thing can come, but yes, those that. Uh, like, cause, like, I want to share memes. I don't want somebody I have to explain right. jokes right. to. You know? right. So you basically gotta have, and, and I don't think it's more, more or less the age thing. You have to actually have uh, be able to relate. Yes. Yeah. And, On certain you know, levels. A, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. even being so, there are some people that even being worlds apart, like worlds apart. Like I mean, I, I grew up in Nigeria, Africa, and then you grew up in America. I can still relate with some people. Mm-hmm. Right. Despite the differences, despite you knowing different things or growing right. uh, used to different things, I'm mm-hmm. used to different, but I can still relate. We can still share jokes and all of that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Yes. Yep. That is huge for me. But you know, there's a, there's also sometimes when you have people within the same age that don't, don't get relate. it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, so, exactly. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. So it's, it's just, it's the sense of humor, the smartness, a smart mm-hmm. guy. Okay. Yeah. So you value intelligence. Yes. Looks. And, and sense of humor. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and, uh, well, I can do without, but it'll be a plus if he's romantic. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And me? Uh, yes. What about you? Um, pretty much almost the, th- the same that she said. Uh, looks is, you know, it, it's nice, but it's not, it's not it's necessary. It's not the, the, the door to get in. Right. Right. Okay. It's, it's not necessary. It's very nice. And preferable, mm-hmm. but you know, if you could tell a good joke and be respectful and look good in your clothes, and you know, just have manners. You have to have manners. You know, I. I what? He's, he's having manners <laughs> <laughs> and trying to look good in his clothes excuse, and not like a homeless ex- man. Today. Excuse me, <laughs> the lady is speaking. <laughs> maybe I'm just maybe I'm just emotional, <laughs> but I'm a cancer, big cancer status. I do to be, you know, a little sensitive, like, you know. Mm, that's a good one. I, I like that. Okay? Wait a what's your what's your age range? I, my age range? Yeah. Are you in your thirties, forties, twenties? Oh, I'm thirty three. But okay, okay. I attract these young boys. I'm telling you, man, I don't know what's up with it. Um but I, I do I want me a grown ass man you know oh i'm mm-hmm. sorry am i allowed to cuss on this yeah yes, but, you are. <laughs> um, but i mean like you know like big cancer energy we like to be spoiled we we like y'all watch love it blind this yeah. new season that's out oh my god is that the one with like, the balloons? i want somebody to, no, 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 to, that's not to the tell one me one. how you feel it's like it's a show where you know uh, be all people all don't know each it, other you know? and then they try a little try bit mm-hmm. so are you saying that you're Typically, you're just having an issue with today's men, the quality that's out there. Correct. It's okay. hard out here. It's, it's, <laughs> you say it's, it's hard for a pimp. <laughs> it's hard out here. Right? It's, it's rough. Okay, so it's, even for you, so if are you saying it's rough? But what actual qualities that you are looking for that's not out there? That you haven't found in a person. I would say a lot of men now want too much. They want their woman to stay in the house. They want their woman to be this way. They want to cook, clean, um, fuck. Like, it's a whole lot of shit that a dude wants. Like, there's no, baby, I got the bills. Like, you take care of the house type thing anymore. There's no, um, you know... So well, you, maybe, like I said, I'm attracting young boys, so maybe this is why I'm getting that feedback. Maybe I need to go, like, 40 and up club. I don't know, but. 
What so, do you consider uh, young? I, I don't know. And I don't think that's an age thing. You know, I feel there are some people that um, they're young and whatever uh, age range. And then they still know. The what, traditional ways. Yes. Yeah. They're yeah. still traditional. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. So you're, so what I'm hearing is that you prefer. Or maybe African men. Try it, African it men. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> but so you're saying that you prefer the traditional ways of like dating, having a relationship where the, the man takes care of everything and the woman can, you know, do the traditional if, things. If that's if that's what men expect. Because a man oh, okay, expects I got a lot out of a woman. I got you. Okay. So a man expects a lot out of a woman. Um so, and so they want it they want well, they want both ends. They want mm-hmm. now see this was the argument I would have with women also. You know, they'll say, well, you want the benefits, but you don't want to put up your side. So the the men want, want you to be able to act like the wife, but not get the benefits of being a wife. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you said you attracting young men. What what are you considering young? 20, 22, 23, 24. Okay. Like, 23 okay. and 24 year cradle, old men don't cradle, know nothing. Yeah, cradle I'm sorry. babies. Yeah, babies. They, they, they not ready. Cradle. They not ready. But also too, I think it's my personality. I'm very goofy and very funny. Like you know, um, and you know, I keep saying I I want to be an old man, but I don't think um, old men are boring. I don't know. Like I mean, older. Like, but like, but like, I can't. You know. So you know, you cannot have it all. Yeah, if you go with an old old man. Yeah, they might want it to spoil you because you're okay. Yeah, do you? I'll be tra- I'll be a traditionalist. I'll take care of the bills. Blah blah blah. But you don't get to have fun. Well, it depends to on next who he is. Yeah, it depends if it's on who he like is. him. The oh bowling. well, yeah. Go, well, because his idea of fun is different. I'm I'm sure it's different from our caller's idea of fun. Listen, she t- I, look. <laughs> don't don't be calling me boring. I got like. Five cases of baby oil upstairs. Oh, okay, okay Diddy. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, no. My God. No, stop it. Stop it with the baby oil. I mean, see, like, I can be, listen, I can take care of myself, okay, baby? But if we, if, but the thing is, if I want to go out to a club and I, if I work all the time, and this one time is somebody's birthday, my cousin's, because the only time I'm ever outside is like literally a, an important something is going on. I, if I want to shake my ass and enter a twerk contest, <laughs> you know, that's just what I do. Like, what is the issue with that? What is the issue with with all that? You know, if, like, when I go out, I want to, I'm a free spirit. You know, I like to have fun. Type so, thing. there's nothing wrong you with know? that. You just have to have your boundaries your, your and, boundaries and yeah. your, your compliment to that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it, it's it's couples that will go out there and they'll just you know go wild. You know, you do whatever you feel. And there's some people that like you might have a man that's that have all those attributes that you like everything, but they they will look at it like say, well, I don't want my woman right out there doing that in public. Right. So, I guess you have to kind of you know pick whatever well, you want I mean, off the buffet. Right. Right. I mean, uh, I can say this. I can say that. When I was married, um, you know, in the beginning, me and my ex-husband, we would do a lot of shit together, like go out. We went to strip clubs together, like you know that that's just the person I am. But when we started, you know, as the years progressed, it was like you forgot. We forgot how to love each other, and he forgot. You know, I don't know if he forgot or got amnesia or, or what was the case, but. It was now a problem. Stuff that wasn't a problem before is now a problem now. Ah. You know. So it, was it, that it, was that during the marriage or like when he first met you? Marriage. When he first met you, these things weren't a problem. But once he became your right. husband, like, it became right, a problem. Right. Well, well, once the years piled on, and you know we started having issues, it you know it's a problem. But you met me this way. You know, and and that's another thing. Like I get the ick so so quick now. That I don't tolerate certain things, and and you know, you know the question is, what a woman want? It's like sometimes we don't want to. Well, I can speak for myself. 
I really don't know what I want. <laughs> and that's the biggest say. that's the biggest problem that's what we just said. that is the biggest problem let me answer you from a, um, a man's perspective I, I want... oh i'm sorry go ahead no i was gonna ask psycho from a man's oh, no, perspective we have one more lady to yeah yes. we went, we'll go with hers for and then we'll go into because i don't know if she wants to participate yet okay my question to you is once i become wife mm-hmm does the thing the the game change oh yeah absolutely okay absolutely and and i think that's a lot of times that's what people don't get when Mm -hmm. you when you transition from one you know uh, relationship status to the next it comes with changes right like there's certain things that you can get away with when you're you're not married Mm -hmm. even if you're together you're not married but once you become married there's certain expectations i'm not saying the fun has to change but now um i don't want you twerking in a context exactly Exactly. So let me let me let me say something about that. So it's like for like African men that I'm used to stop looking at my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so African women don't want that. <laughs> if you need to know. <laughs> so like African men, like for example, like you guys are dating. It's like fun, all fun and games and all of that. You guys go out. He wants to go out. He wants you to be there, hang out with him. Blah 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 blah. And now you're married. And now you got to stay home. Right. Now he doesn't want you out with right. him. But he gets to continue living that life. Yes. Because mm. you know when you're married, you become property. So no, stop talking. We can't have, just stop we can't talking have, right now. Listen, no, I'm saying, this, this is a mindset. This is a mindset. It's legitimate. Like, so now he, you can't have. And, 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 and you're looking at it is that that's my property. That's my. No, mostly because of kids, though. Mostly like, well, oh, you, you go take care of the kid. I'm like, no. But even if even yeah. if you don't have kids, though, there's yeah. still the, that's the mindset changes because it's like, all right, if you're just a girlfriend, right, and you're out there doing X, Y, Z, you don't have you don't have like a, um, what's it called like a mm-hmm. a liability as much, right? You're not as, as a big a liability. Somebody comes in there and y'all get an uh, uh, argument or some other guy comes in that little mix, whatever, your girlfriend. There's no there's no, um, no money that's going to be sacrificed. Mm. There's no, you know. But once you become a wife, now you have all these things that you have to worry about. And a lot of guys look at it that way. It's like being married is more of a risk that they're not, um, that's not worth the reward. Okay. No. You don't think, you don't think be, getting married is a risk? Risk, no. See, but a guy does. Women may not. Risk that what? Risk, well, because loss of income. Right. <laughs> okay. Loss of house. Loss of house, car. <laughs> well, because in this part of the world, that's how it works. Yeah. You know, where I'm from, marriage is not like, it's, it's like you're, you're coming. So it's not like both of us what, growing up. I don't, I think, um, I think things have changed now. Then it used to be you go to your husband's house. So he's right. the owner of whatever. Mm. It's not like, oh, we both acquire the property, right. blah, 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 right, blah. Right. It's his house. So a man has to be made. A man has to be financially stable. Just and be, be able to stand up on yes, his own, be a man. You understand? Be right. kind of mm-hmm. like that. So he's the, he's marrying you into his house. He has a house, has a car, right. blah, 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 to take care of you. Right. You know, so you're just at an addition. So he's already made. He has to be made first. Mm. Before, but I think things are changing these days where women also get to work as much and, and all that's, of that, my, you know? that's my whole such a take on everything if you want me in the house i'd be damned if you'd be like where's your hat for the rent then <laughs> you, want me in the house? you want me in the house you want me you want me to you know suck do everything like take care of the kids wash your drawers and shit do the dishes cook clean get, come on good. bruh <laughs> Come on, Brad. Where, where you meet me, fifty fifty then? Okay, so I can because say if you if you can keep my ass in the house, you can keep my ass off the stage. If you not, bu- if I'm not busting down fifty fifty with you. Okay, that's that's valid. Okay, that's valid. And I don't believe in fifty. I don't even believe in putting a a percentage right because it's never 50 50 yes right. i don't it's believe in 50 50 um and i don't and i don't i don't want to say i don't really respect men that feel like you have to share the bills equally as a man i feel like it's your responsibility to do stuff and if oh, as a wife she's working and all of that she can contribute okay 
let's i'm gonna because t- i don't want i don't want my husband to do all of it like okay mm-hmm. i'm also making money so it's only fair for me to but not like oh you have to you know what i'm saying no it doesn't have to be you have to do we have to split the bills okay you t- at the end of the day you bring this and i bring this and we'll pay the bills and no so one of the differences though this is a is a difference now in in terms of i'm the man i'm taking care of the you know, the uh, finances, the house, the whatever, whatever, whatever. And you're going to do what you do traditionally. So I think where it changed is where, you know, maybe because women got jobs, they were mm-hmm. on equal footing. And now instead of that being that leader or, you know, of the household is like, oh, we, we need to make this happen. Right. We have to decide on that. Or right. We have to, you know, whatever, whatever. So in, in that well, case. for money, like, so, okay, let's say. Not just man, money though. Okay. So let's everything. say money. Yeah. So. Let's say a man is um a man is making money, and then the woman. So now my money is gonna be like so I don't come to ask you for money. Not because you know what I'm saying. Like if I if I'm unemployed, and I'm taking care of the house and all of that, mm-hmm. and you're the only one doing it, you're still gonna have to pay the bills. And when I need stuff, you still have to give me money. So the mo- whatever I'm working for should be money. So you don't come to ask me for money. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? So, so, you think, you... so th- this is where this is where I go in to say that I don't know what I want because, um, you know, I want my man to. You know, it, it is rough out here. Shoot, I'm I'm doing it now with two kids solo by myself. You know, it is rough. I have I work seven days a week all the time, so it is. It would be oh, nice no. to have. So I'm scared to help. It would be nice to have help, yeah. but. I also am a free spirit. I have a big personality. I have a lot of friends. Like, you know, I love who I am. And if a man is trying to change who I mm-hmm. am, that's where I get left. So right. then it's like, dang, have what you want. Do so you want changing who you are, are you like extra, change? extra? Or like changing you from what? Like, are you extra? Right. Are you... Like, like I just gave you an example. The only thing I could go back to is, you know, my ex-husband. Like, you know, we was married five years together, nine. And just after, you know, certain things changed, he tried to change who I was. And here I am arguing with my with my husband over going out for my sister's birthday. Mm. Stuff that I never used to have to do. Now it's, well, why can't I come? And now I get irritated. Like, you know what? You you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're trying to change who I am. So do but, you think that the be, who you are is not really, you know, um, good for marriage? Right. Or, but see, or, it was good but was, for marriage when you proposed to me after a year of dating. No, no, no. I never I mean, asked for it. No, no, no. I'm, but you accepted though, right? I did. So, in in that case, like, say, if you want to be the free spirit, and I'm I'm not, you know, you know, uh, looking at it negatively. If you want to be, because you are who you are. But if mm. you want to be a free spirit, and that doesn't fit into another mm-hmm. person's um, idea of what marriage is, then I think that person just needs to, whether it be man or woman needs to just, you know, be that free spirit and put it out there and say, hey, listen, we could date, we can do right. whatever, but this is who I am, you know, and if... And I'm not changing it, and right. you have to figure out if you can yeah. fit into this. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and and it's not like I told you, I, I wear a lot of time, and, you know, I, I just was joking about the twerk contest. I don't, <laughs> you weren't joking. You know, you if, I, I, if I, I got to bring out the booty shorts again, I will. You, but, you but, wasn't you joking. Know, I saw you. You know what? Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but not like for real, for real. Um, you know, it, it's just a stack. It, it's just for me. You know, I battle hand in hand what women want. But you know, I honestly want a God fearing, understanding man. Okay. Like you know, um, religion plays a big role in my life. So you know, I want that man to. I just want an old school brother, like one that's just all about me, like, you know, one that don't come with trust issues because I ain't got time for that shit again. <laughs> and it's just like, you got to come to me. God got to handpick them because I'm telling you, and, and you know what's crazy? I was telling my mom this morning, my next dude, he going to be a big boy. Like, a, a big boy is no, in size? Uh, yeah, like, I want a big dog, you know? Um, <laughs> I want, I want a heavy, 
Chevy Chevy. So, um. So what what are you saying about what's what is the qualities so no, about big? It's a couple dudes that I never dated. I never dated outside my race. Uh huh. Um, is that an option? Never, you know, I, I take a little uncooked. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How about but undercooked never... and not necessarily uncooked? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask some things. This uh, important things as far as what a guy would want to know about a woman, and going by some of the things that I've um, heard in conversations and discussions, either you know through friends or my own personal life. What is your opinion? Um, what what? Im- how important is communication? when it comes to a relationship for you very very now but do you, i don't think we know how to do it okay i'm about to say because one of the things that we talk about when it comes to communication is that um we believe me speaking for the the main the delegation okay, okay. <laughs> that women expect us to communicate like women mm-hmm. and we're not women right so that's where the problem comes is that well you don't know how to communicate no we we don't communicate like you right you know, you have to find how we communicate and get on our level sometimes. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, we might have to, you know, get to your level at some point. But right. we recognize that you can't always communicate like we communicate. Right. Right. But you Agreed. Know, I always see that women say, oh, communication, communication, communication. It's like, but you're missing that, that big point. Everybody communicates differently. differently. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Has that been a like a, a issue in your particular relationship in the past? Yes, because this is what I hate. I hate it when men be like, you like a woman will be like, what's wrong? We know something's off, nothing, I'm good. That irritates the hell out of me. Because then I'm going to match that energy. Now mm-hmm. I got an attitude. And you might seriously, honestly be good. But I don't know, just your energy is shifted. You know what I'm saying? So typically, so just, typically when a man... You got to understand the difference. So mm-hmm. when you're saying you're asking a man, are you know, are you good? Right. In our mind, we're looking at we can handle it. We're good. We're, or we're not ready to, to express talk to you ourselves yet. Yep. at that particular That's time. That's what that is. Yep. So it's like in our head, you're saying, hey, you, you all right? You, you sure? You know, you want me to do that? No, I really want you to leave me alone. Yep. <laughs> but, but without having to say it, because we know it's going to be a problem, too. By right. Hurting, you know, hurting feelings and stuff like that. But that's the things like when you when you try to communicate with your partner you got to realize okay well this is a man or woman mm-hmm. th- this is how they communicate mm-hmm. so i'm going to take it as that i'm going to step back and i'll right. wait for him to come to right. me or and i know i'm always a big uh, proponent of you know writing stuff down mm. where it gives people enough time to digest it and right, right. you know come when you're ready right so i think that's one of the major problems now even felonious i know you you've had a you know issue with communication too right when they, they couldn't understand you? Oh, my That's God. Funny. No, he didn't say that. I'm thinking he's going to say something serious. You're ridiculous. You definitely have to figure out. I, I get matching energy because I'll, I'll do the same thing. You say you okay, I'm a, but I'm different. Like, I'm not going to get an attitude. You say, I'm all right, I'm good. I'm like, okay, and I'm going to go on right. about my business because I know, at least, in my, and, you know, I've been married 100 years, so I know eventually he'll come back and say, you know what was on my mind? Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, like okay but i but that is from years and years right. and years of paying attention and learning like i i used to be the kind of person that he would come home from work and i'm like you know what happened today you know what the kids did <laughs> blah, 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 blah. but i realized it took me a minute right. that he's the kind of person that needs to sit down take off the shoes you know just get out of the the, the work clothes mm-hmm. and then we can start talking about right. what happened today well also too it depends on you know the the type of job he has as right. well. So if right. you're in a you're in a uh, job that all right, so law enforcement, corrections, right. all that type of stuff, where you're actually dealing with the public, right? And, or deal, even in corrections, dealing with dealing assholes with, all day. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That is a, that is the worst thing you want to do is right. come home because that's when you come home, that's your, you're like your safe haven. So right. you want to let all that go, 
breathe for a minute mm -hmm. and then pick up. Right. You know, you right. might just want to get something to drink or eat and then, right. then and talk. And then talk. Right. right. But it took me a minute to figure that out. And I'd be like, yeah. well, why ain't you talking to me? You hear me? I'm telling you about the kids and we got to go down to the school because this is happening. <laughs> you know, because it is. I had to go to work too. Right. But then I had to come home and deal with all of this stuff. And then by the time you get home, it's all built up on me. So now I'm just like spilling it out on you. And, you know, that is a hard way to communicate. And, and, and during that time, it was like Charlie Brown. A absolutely. Like, yeah. Didn't wah, hear a thing. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Didn't hear, did not hear a thing and, yeah. and could not um, do anything about it. So understanding is, that's, that's basically understanding your, because you understood, oh, yes, right. you understood right. that, okay, everything doesn't have to be about fighting and all of that. Oh, Sometimes, absolutely yes. not. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to uh, just take that time mm -hmm. to know the person and understand that, okay, this is, this is how yep. you are and right. this is, we cannot both be the same thing right so yeah this person is different of course yes. and make that adjustment exactly you gotta make that adjustment sometimes where was y'all when i was married that, huh where was y'all when i was married <laughs> <laughs> you need to hang up so here's another thing too just just because you mentioned that is it's very important to have somebody with a different perspective in your circle if you're in like in your circle mm. if you have a whole bunch of girls that you know, women. that say the same, I'm sorry, women <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that say the same thing or don't have any experience, you know, girl, you should do this and mm -hmm, you should do that. Mm -hmm. Or especially ones that don't have functional relationships and trying to give you or spouses or spouse or, pa yeah. or partners, right. you know, or partners. So you got to have that, that person that's, you know, like that could be that mentor. Mm -hmm. So, to, you know, and even when I was younger, in my twenties, I, we thought the um, older guys, if he was 30, 35, we, that was old, <laughs> right? We was like, that's the old school. <laughs> Those are the guys who gave us. Uh, and for women, the the ones that give the worst advice, uh, women they give each other bad bad advice because mm -hmm. and sometimes it's because some so some women be like, oh my god, you let him do that. Oh, you, I would never let my man talk mm -hmm. to me like that. Blah 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 blah. Go to their house. They are crying. <laughs> they are crying. They cannot take it. And then you're like, oh my god, this is the same person that was out there saying shit. Some of they just like to ruin your relationship mm -hmm. or try to make themselves look. Good misery loves you know company. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So misery yeah, loves uh, some of them want what you have, mm -hmm. you know. So yep. yeah, so yep. it's it's so, just yeah. yeah. So and and a lot of times, you know, listening to other people is by advice is going to mess up your relationship. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. going to jack yeah. up your relationship. And you know, you you listen to womp 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 and come home and be like. I think you need to be doing this and I think you need to be doing that. Yes, and, and men don't even like, like comparisons. Like, like where oh, did that come did, from? Have oh. you seen somebody's husband? That have you seen the what they gave them? Right. Have you seen my have you seen the cars? Blah 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 blah. Right. He's driving. And you, you know, know and you know like in, in their head, like my you said that to me. I'm like, well, go to fucking live with them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard yeah. that a whole lot of times. Hey, that's that's how we think. Don't but that is the know, worst you could do is compare right, right. your man. Or your your thing to somebody else. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's like um. So I, I was going to say so for my relationship now, my um my kids that so yeah, it's like I'm I'm like the more uh, he's more gentle, laid back mm. kind of thing, mm -hmm. and then I'm like the one that hey who who did that? Let's go, let's go fuck that person <laughs> up. That's me. <laughs> And then I expect that kind of energy from him. Like, okay, maybe something's going on with me. Somebody's disrespecting me. And, mm -hmm. and I expect you to be be on top of it. Like, hey, <laughs> go, let's go fuck that person up. And then you're like, eh, let's, it's okay. It's okay. So, but, but again, no, too. No, it's but, not okay. Let's go. But see, here's the thing. This is, this is our perspective on it, too. So the worst thing you could do is have two highly emotional, highly charged persons yes. try to solve a problem. Yes. Right? So in and this is my personal belief on this part, like the, the man, we try to do things. We, I think automatically we try to go with that logical thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to put things in, make sense out of it first. Well, if I go down there, you know, she going to this big dude, six foot five, da, 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 <laughs> and she going to get out of pocket next thing. You know, I'm going to be laid out on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> but I don't mind. Yeah, you don't mind. <laughs> you will resent that. I guarantee you, you will resent so, that. So no, for so it's like for me, it's like for me, I I don't want them to disrespect any my man, any man. Like, right? Don't right. disrespect him. I'm gonna whoop you. I'm gonna go there. I'm like, hey, no. So I expect that kind of energy from like. Okay, let me give you. Let me give you a hint too. Yeah. All right. So as a man, and we always talk about these things, right? So that's a lot of times. That's why we say, no, you stay home <laughs> because 
we might a lot of stuff can just bounce off us. We can laugh it off, chuck it off like uh, whatever, whatever. You know, nothing worse than to have your woman there, and, and then she starts. You know, she might get offended by what somebody say to you that you don't care about, right? Yeah. And yeah. she set it off. Yeah. <laughs> Next yeah. thing you know, like I said, I was in the situation like this at the bowling alley. Well, no, I'm not the bowling alley. Uh, billiards hall mm. and you know it almost escalated Exploded, to where somebody right. was going to die right and i'm talking about literally die either it was going to be me it was going to be them right? right so you don't want you Absolutely know you gotta have those not, rules you gotta yeah. have those talks like you know if he gives you the look like the big eye mm-hmm. look mm-hmm. that means that means shut the fuck up yeah. <laughs> close your eyes we're fucking them up <laughs> like, no that's what that means like you go give it a look like shut, you don't want to say it but you get the look like shut the fuck up no. i got this or matter of fact i'm like go, go ahead in the car right <laughs> you know, right go ahead in the car right okay can you give me something from the bar <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's like your your enemy is my enemy if you, you you're not cool with that person i'm not cool with that I, person. I can see that don't go behind me and then don't if i'm not cool with somebody don't be like oh it's a woman it's a woman's thing no women are like that and then you go talk to the person no don't do that if you're if your enemy if you have enemies if somebody's disrespecting your friend whatever whatever i'm off with that person like we're not speaking <laughs> but then when it's my turn it's like and you and i'm hearing you talk to that person i'm like really you cannot fight my battles with me you know no we don't men let always me, men always sly you no yeah. let me tell you <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute let me tell you let me tell you i'm gonna tell you this is how it goes right so you know you might your 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 wife comes home you know, when she wants to tell you about all the stuff that happens at work, yep. mm-hmm. all the problems, all yep. the, you know, she got it with, with this girl and yep. this, that, whatever, whatever. Right. And our head was like, we don't say it. I'm like, I don't want to be bothered with this catty yep. shit. Yep. That's what it we, doesn't that's, matter you know, to me. So yeah. our thing is, is, we'll try to say, well, let's, let's fix it. Let's, right. let's how, how we, right. and here's the thing. Women don't want us to try to fix it. They don't even nope. want it fixed. Nope. They, they want to, they just, just want you want to, to hear about them. it yep. and, and jump on what that bitch did. What? <laughs> that's what they want. And I'm like, and this was a situation I had learned about, you know, so I was like, that's what your friends are for. <laughs> if you want, if you wrong and you know, you wrong as a guy, we might say, well, you know, maybe you should have handled different. Uh-huh. But if you want somebody to say, you know, you right, regardless, ego, that's, yeah. what, that's, what you, that's what your homegirls are for. Right. <laughs> but a guy don't want to hear all that. They just want to say, all right, well, let's how, let's, how can we fix this? Right. You know, right. And they don't want to hear all that, you know, oh, she said this and that, and then she did. We don't want to hear all that, you know? But if he does, then you got to look out for that guy because he might have a little, you know. Gazing. <laughs> I don't understand that's either what one he, of y'all right there. That's now. what he said. That's not me. I'm just saying. You know, if he if he just as catty as you. <laughs> I say, I'm so check, giving him a shout out. <laughs> check the little mark on the back of his neck. <laughs> I'm so giving him a shout out. I right, really okay. am. All right. So, all right. And. and some things that don't need to be discussed as far as like trust. I think we can all agree that in any type of relationship, right, you have to any have level, trust. you have to have right. trust, right? Right. right. Agreed. So Agreed. one thing that we always have a, uh, a disagreement with, I think, is what, like, what is love? What, how yeah, you, we, <laughs> yeah, we always go back and forth. And then we even did the whole um, types. Oh, yeah, uh, right, We right, did right. that, the whole types of love and um how do you show love? Right. So yeah, that's the thing. And I think for men, what did you say? Protect, provide, protect and provide. P- right. And, and lead women, and lead. Mm-hmm. Okay. And women are just like, Oh, I want hugs. I want kisses. <laughs> Although I don't think, listen, I, let me say this for, from a older woman, all of this changes Throughout as the you years. get, yeah. Okay. As the older you get, all of this stuff changes. Some days it's just like, Lord Jesus, just come home and sit down and leave me alone. I don't want to talk. Right. I don't want to, you know, I don't want any of that stuff. I just want you to sit down and be quiet. Right. You know, I just want to be quiet. So the older you get, I think things change. You know, you still want respect and you still want trust and you still want all of those things. But your relationship changes as, as you go along. And you're right. You know the looks. You know the signals. <laughs> you know all that stuff. And if he say it's time to go. Let's get the coat. Right, right. Don't stand there and ask them no questions. If he say it is time to go, you get your coat, right. you get your bag, and you go. You can ask some questions in a car. All right. So speaking of this was one of the so, things. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, one of the things that really used to irritate me, just what you said. Right. Like, and, and it wasn't because it was a male thing or man thing. It was because of my profession. Right? Yes. 
So yes. God, but it rubs that in a lot. No, it, does, it makes a difference. <laughs> it, it makes a big it, it difference. It makes a difference. Let me yeah, give you an example. But, it, but, I, but then, difference. because it happened to somebody, doesn't no, it doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't matter. If it I'm telling to you, it makes a difference. So there's certain things like I can I can tell you this. If we're in a place, I use a public place, and you know, I say something like, "All right, go ahead. I need you to go to the car," and you start, da, 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 mm-hmm. you don't know what that why. Right. I don't have time to explain why. Right. I'm not going to just tell you to go to the car just because I just want you to walk to the car. You have to trust. Go back to the trust. You have mm-hmm. to trust that I know what I'm talking about. Or maybe I have some experience with that. Right. Right. Or maybe it's somebody that, that don't like me or I maybe it's somebody with a gun. I identify that. Or, maybe you're, just, or you're just bossy. No, no, no. no. that's uh, you. Something about to jump off. That's what yeah, that means. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what that means. Something see, is about to jump off. Before I became off. an officer myself, mm-hmm. I'm like whoever just said that, and that's what because you know my ex husband he was an officer before I was, and I always thought that you was trying to control me. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. And 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 that and and I feel with whoever said that because that was something i did not understand right right and 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 that does play a lot of role mm-hmm. in it and so mm-hmm. when we talk about communication that goes two ways yes so yes when, mm-hmm. so when so when you tell me get your stuff and let's get in the car and then don't say shit now i got an <laughs> attitude right you but- know so it's like it's in and what i realized though and it still wasn't never clear was it was it was it Oh, you always think something's gonna happen. This is why I don't like going out. That's with what you've you been saying, Polonius. <laughs> <No. laughs> exactly. Yes. yes, that's something so, I would say. Definitely, right. because so, he, he so, sees the worst in everything. Like, no, no, no. But here's the thing. Oh going back to what she says, mm-hmm. like, all right. So let's say I'm he's always you, security conscious, and, and that's that's what we're supposed I know, to do. Yeah, right. But, so here's the thing. If I say if I say to you, like, um, I don't think you should go to that that carry out down at such and such, right? right. Or if, especially if, you know, if I have an attitude and you don't know understand why I have an attitude, if I say, well, you know what? Um, I come home every day and I tell you about this particular place, all mm-hmm. the craziness to go over, but yet you have your ass sitting in there. Right. And then say, me and such and such are going to, you know, right. whatever. And I'm right. like, to me, that's just going to just boil because mm-hmm. I'm like, I, I tell you these things. Why do I, why do you even put me in a situation? And that's another thing too. You're also putting your man in a situation because if something happens. Guess what? Now, he got to get out of his comfort zone, go down there and maybe, you know, jeopardize right. his job. Right. You know, his life, li- whatever it is. Livelihood, whatever. Right. Yeah. So that, yeah. those are the things you got to understand. And that goes back to leading. And that goes back to having traditional um, type of relationship. If a man says this, sometimes you just need to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I know she's a police officer. Like, you know, she's a police officer. And right. let's say her husband or her, her mate was not. Then he's going to have to learn that same thing. He's going to have to learn that not just because she's a woman, but. Because she's a police officer, mm-hmm. I might need to listen to her and not, you know, That's just an question excuse. her. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I learned a lot from being young and in clubs in Baltimore. Mm. And you you have that feeling and you know when something about to jump off and you give whoever you with that look. It's, it's time, time to, to go. go. <laughs> it is time to go. Uh-huh. And and don't ask any questions. If I say it's time to go, it's time to go. And if you want to ask questions, I'm walking my ass out the door. And you can talk to my back. Because right. I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm out. You know. So, right. It's a trust thing. You have to trust. And, and it's a safety thing. It is a safety thing. The, the Where I work, I know if something's not right. I yeah, have been around. I just feel like yeah, well, I know something uh, ain't right. Or maybe where I'm coming from, it's like he, um, people just want to see danger and everything. Like, oh my god, like it's yeah. not that deep. It is, but it see, is here's, though. Here's the thing. Here's the, <laughs> it it's is like though. if you come from a like, all right, just but my, I'm not talking about my job, just but the environment that I grew up in, yeah. right? You see things happen, just like mm-hmm. where where I go to get my pasta. Yeah, exactly. And then he keeps going, like then keeps sending me stuff, like. You blah 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 blah. This is where you're going <laughs> to. This place is where blah blah Look, blah blah blah. And I'm like, no. Right. Born and raised in a city, and there's still some places yeah, that I wouldn't people. go. Nobody comes to my car. None of that. Until this do. time, <laughs> right? This <laughs> time. <laughs> you know. And then you know what's funny in the store where I go to get that food. They always say um, they don't have cash. They don't accept cash. Mm. Right. And I said, you know, I said, you know why? <laughs> <laughs> they done got robbed a hundred exactly. times. <laughs> so sometimes you got to trust you know, what people say. Yes. Yes. I but agree. you know why we're on this topic of you talking about when you say, let's go, let's go. Mm-hmm. Now, another thing that women, well, I'm going to speak for myself, but what does a woman want? We do not want 
you know, as years going on in a relationship, you know how a major topic is sex. You said sex? Yes. Okay. I agree. A woman, as, as years go around, I mean, if y'all been together for a while mm-hmm. and a man expects something, y'all might be talking, da da da. And at night, you're getting dressed and ready. And, and you know, he might ask, you know, you're going to give me some, or you might not even be in the mood anymore. Men forget how to, what's the word I'm looking for? Romance. Yes. It's like, mm-hmm. I want it. I want it now. Does that make sense, ladies? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's, so, it's like, that's another issue. Like, we, we, you saying, all right, let's go when we in a club. If I don't, if, if we supposed to go, if I don't feel like giving up the nookie, why do you feel like you're entitled to? Because it? And that, that you got attitude. Wait a minute. That is a responsibility. Depends, like if you're married, that is the that is a uh, responsibility you have. So all you have to do is do what you usually do: is lay there, and, <laughs> oh, whatever, oh God, whatever. What is wrong with you? <laughs> or stick, for example, you're mad at each other, like you're 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 fighting, right, right. Yeah, I, and I you can't. think and you think sex is gonna fix it? Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I it's can't not. Do we I have can't. to talk about it. No, <laughs> it's not gonna right. fix nothing. No, yeah, we have to. Yeah. I'm not, when I'm some mad, people, I can't right. some people feel like right. yes, they don't want to talk about it, and the next option is to just yeah. have that exactly. And, yeah, you that's know. and you're still gonna be mad. <laughs> exactly. You're still gonna be mad. And th- my thing is like, just don't up and expect me to to want to have sex with you when you have done nothing, nothing to build up, nothing to build up. All right, right? So- and and I'm not <laughs> even like that big on. I'm I'm not that hearts and flowers and candy kind of person. But you got to do something. Right. You can't just right. show up at home and be like, okay, let's go. Okay, so but, real quick, thank real, you. Real quick, we're gonna we're gonna come back and. We're going to talk about love, sex, and intimacy specifically. Okay. Come okay, back about, from where? Come back. From our okay, commercial from, break. From our commercial break. And I'm not going to play that commercial. But, Thank you. But we'll, we'll get back. You. Okay. All right. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm going to break it up. <laughs> so, All right. So, uh, so I was saying that, you know, you have to do something to get there. Women are a little bit harder. Men, the wind blow and y'all ready. Right. You know, women are harder. We need a little bit more than just you going to do it to me tonight. Right. Like we, we need a little bit more. And the older you get, the more of that you're going to need. Right. Okay. You know? So it takes more to, the, it, it to warm up more. the engine. What what my grandma used to say, prime the pump. Prime. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you spend a little bit of time warming your car up, basically, you know, it's kind of the same thing. You need to do something other than say, let's have sex tonight because that's not going to get it. Or oh, some people just go like, yeah, they just tap Touch. on you. <laughs> yeah. Like tap, tap, tap. I'm like, girl, you but, to- but you said the, the major thing though. You said that that that's what men expect. Is yeah, that what you said? If if you're in if you're in a, a marriage, that is that is like a, a privilege. That is this is what you're supposed to do. Even men, you you can't den well you can deny, but I'm saying you're not supposed to deny your your spouse those type of privileges. So again, like she said, men is easy, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, it don't we don't need that whole work up. You know, it's, right. you know, all you gotta do is you wake know, up, show, show, show some titties. <laughs> you ain't even gotta show them. You can just show the outline. Exactly. You know, just you know, look yeah. at them through your your nightgown. Exactly. There you go. That's that's a, <laughs> enough. And then you know, he, he's gonna give you that clue, girl. I'm about to give you three minutes of this three inches you know, of power pack pleasure. <laughs> I can't with you. I can't <laughs> so. with you. And how about women that cannot, um, like for African, we I for, think a lot of cannot say. They want to have sex. Do y'all? They can't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? What? No. So how do you it, get there? It was just kind of probably just the culture and how the you were raised. So you expect yeah. not to not to ask for it, right? No, because yeah, so but you give clues. Like I, I, I can tell you. No, I cannot. You give can't give clues. clues? No. So let me tell you, this is a clue. Like <laughs> it, just in, in my spirit. Like I know. <laughs> I got several ways to give clues. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, you know they go. They jump in that shower. They come out. Next thing you know, any other time they got a bonnet on their head or, <laughs> or you know, all, all wrapped up. Next thing you know, the they, raggedy right. gown. <laughs> so, so they got on this uh, this lingerie, right? <laughs> or they come in and they, they start oiling up and all of the other type stuff. So, you know, that's what we call a clue. <laughs> so, 
You don't have to say it. <laughs> All you got to do is give some hints. It's, it's easier. all over your face. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly now on the on the other hand though so you know it's, it's not as easy for a guy because a lot of times where a woman can have sex uh physically able to have sex mm-hmm. even though she's not into it mm-hmm. but a guy if he's not into it like mentally like he got the, the yeah the stress the anxiety yeah. the whatever the distractions mentally is not going to work out either or you're not going to get mm-hmm. all that you can get out of it right right so mm-hmm. you know you have to know the complexity i, I look at it as, as a science there's a science you look at everything as I a do. science science is everything so even a woman a woman you you're not the science of looking at it as a science the woman you have to know who you're dealing with first mm-hmm. and every woman's different right you have to have if you if you know what pushes her buttons you know what you know leads up to it you know what kind of you know relaxes her all some, that type some of men, things some men are not patient some men right don't right. know right right Married 20 years, married mm-hmm. of 20 years, 30, they do not know mm-hmm. how to pacify their wife. They don't know what the wife mm-hmm. wants or what she likes or what will make her in the mood. We'll put her in the mood. You're going to give me some. Exactly. Right, some right. people feel like, like yes. Oh, it's, that's what turns No, off. it's not. I don't feel. No, it's <laughs> not my so, job. So let it's me ask not, you a question then. So are you saying that if, a, like, say, guy comes in, you're there in the bed, and he, he wants him, he just grabs you. Put you in the, the doggy style. Uh-uh. Start Yo, your stuff up. That's not me, that's sir. not romantic. <laughs> What's no. wrong with you? What is wrong it, with it's you? It depends on one drunk. That's night, not no, that's drunk, not then yeah. Oh, is but, it, so conditionally. Yeah, it is conditionally. <laughs> it is conditionally. But I think that you know a lot of times men don't really think about all the things that go on in your, right. in, in a woman's right. life in a day. You right. know, you you getting the kids off to school. You, you got to go to work. You're tired. You picking the kids up exactly. from school. You got to come home and you got to make exactly. dinner. Nobody's unloaded the dishwasher. Nobody put a load of clothes in. Like, exactly. so th- you doing all of those things. And then at nine o'clock, what all you want to do is sleep, is lay down. He's like, tap, tap, tap. And I, because you, <laughs> you right. went to work, but you came home and sat in a chair and mm. didn't do A, B, C, and D. And mm-hmm. I've, I've done all of these things around this clock and I'm exhausted. Right, so tap, tap, tap means just <laughs> poke it out. Oh, no, I mean, <laughs> but, the rest but, of us. But, but we're already turned off. Yeah, yeah. Listen, like in your head, all you want to do is sleep. Listen, that's, that's, you don't have to talk. You don't even have to just this. See, it and out. that's not fair, though. It's well, it, sometimes, but the guys got to give it up sometimes too when they're not in the mood. So when are men not in the mood? Many but, times. As long as you like, give me an example. Up. Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> 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 and when you sleep no even when you sleep you, you it, it no, gets i ain't yeah. gonna lie i don't like being um uh, waking up at two or three o'clock in the morning i, I don't like that some people get what? in at like three o'clock in the morning you know time to get i don't like that because mm. then i'm like it takes me a while to even figure out where i am <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah that's that you know, old you, man vibe yeah but you know but you don't know you could you could be having a dream about you in prison or something <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, let me ask you, I'm going I'm to go, I'm going to go around. I'm going to ask you specific things. And if you, if you feel uncomfortable, ask, I mean, talking about us, you know, whatever. I'm uncomfortable. So, <laughs> so, all right. So, um, our guest, Heaven, what are some of the things that a man can do to get you in the mood? Like that foolproof, foolproof plan. Oh, who? And, okay. They can they could talk by, you know, the voice. Who, somebody said the voice. Mm-hmm. Whoever put on that accent or th- whoever was talking, mm-hmm. something like that. Like, you know, it doesn't take much. I'm, I'm simple. Um, so you're going to be like, uh, hey, girl. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hold on for a second because we about to. We about to do it. Do it. What? And do it to that's, your satisfaction. That's, that's enough, please. Yes, please. Stop. Whatever it is. Please stop. Yes, like that. Yes. Please stop. Oh, no. Please stop. Mm, yeah, that's how I do it. Like, mm. look, and, and especially, I'm going to tell you here, this, especially when you got a young girl, all you got to do is pull out some old school song lyrics that she don't know. <laughs> oh, no. See, I know my old school music. Practice what you preach. 
no, but yeah, gonna, like I'm, that's I'm gonna so tell me stuff. off. Like, <laughs> hell no. Oh, you wouldn't know. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, he's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> splash, 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 splash. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, but on some real shit, like oh my god, uh, learning a woman's body. That's the key. Mm, yes, mm-hmm. I agree. Is learning a woman's body. Yep. Some men forget that. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Some men just is like, fuck this shit, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, and you like, you bet you got these 30 seconds to get with it, or <laughs> that's it. You know? <laughs> Wait a minute. So, I mean, but, but in all fairness, in all fairness, if, you know, if we had a guidebook to learn a woman's body, right? That should be like 10,000 pages long. Because every woman is different. And every every but woman has a 10,000 page woman. book. You know what? Whatever. But a guy, ours is a pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> not as, that, no, that's not necessarily. Because, uh. I mean, Diddy is liking this shit up his ass and shit. Like, so there, I mean, well, right? <laughs> there are some complicated you know I mean? men out there. That's right. <laughs> right. That's, so that's right. Not, I mean, I never, I never even seen nothing like it. Like, a guy get turned on by watching his girl have sex with another man. Like, what? Yeah. That's oh, yeah, complicated. Yeah. yeah, I've heard. I've heard I've that. Heard, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or some there. guys like some guys like they butt ain't like what? That's they're weird. like what? Wait a minute, say that again. Some dudes like their butt ain't. Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I've okay. heard that too. Tossing yeah. salad. Yeah, Toss, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then some, some, With some. Syrup and um, Stop it. <laughs> some dudes like like to orgasm through their prostate. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. I mean, you see what I'm saying? It's not as simple. It is, it it is simple. It's if simple. you say that, my, my brow is going to go up. It, like, it's simple because that's simply gay. You know what? I'm not like, necessarily. That's, right. that's, that's gay. Not. That's them taking, you know, you ever watch Star Wars? You know, when you have a Jedi that goes to the dark side for a minute? Uh-uh. That's what that is. They took, they took a trip to the dark side. Cause yeah, I, we should I should have had some more guys on this thing. Yeah, you did. You needed <laughs> some help. You needed some help. You did. You but did. no, but you're right. You're right. A lot of people. Know, and here's another thing too. A lot of people, men and women, don't know what they like. Right. So sometimes it's a it's a discovery. You know, togetherness. Right. You know, and I've. You know, that's a, that's a, which is that's a good thing. You know, is. that could be a good thing. Yep. It can be a good thing. And I think for me, like. A guaranteed is just to have a, a relaxing evening. Mm-hmm. We don't even have to go out. Like right. I'm not, I'm not even big on going out. I'm okay in my own house with my own food and the TV and some quiet time, and you know, slowly work your way into it. Okay. So I don't, I don't need a lot of very cutesy, right? I don't need a lot more. of um, romance and not, not anymore. You, you want, know, I'm you 60. want, you want some romance though, I, right? Gotta, I want some gotta, romance, right. you know, but I'm, you, you know, want, I'm 60 years old. I don't have to yeah. be jumping up and down and <laughs> standing on my head and all that, right? <laughs> Swinging on your head, right? We ain't sweet. I can't be breaking a hip. You know, <laughs> I'm about to get Medicare. I got to be careful. So, I'm good. I'm good with a little bit of you know a little bit of romance, a little bit of intimacy. I'm good. Okay, so I got a question. I'm this is this is for every one of you. What would you say for or would you say there's a specific time that you're required to be satisfied? Like you, you, some women will say, "Well, you have to. I need sixty minutes. I need such mm -mm. and such." There's no so Mm -mm. for you. How how about you, Felonius? Any if you know what you're doing, it'll happen. Okay. That's all I'm saying. So yeah. It's not a uh-huh. specific time that you have to have. No, but if you feel rushed, that's no, that's then no specific you're not going to want to But I don't want a one second guy. Right. <laughs> okay. You don't want a minute man? <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> and, and heaven, what is it? what would it take for you? Is it no specific time or? It's no specific time, but if I feel rushed, then all right, you okay. got to yeah. get this yeah. take. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't want you tapping me, tapping, tapping, tapping for like two hours. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, fucking I mean, I'm way. Down with that. That's a lot. Depending on what's happening, I'll, the I'll get, get dry. dry. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if the well drives, you gotta get that. You gotta get off. <laughs> I want off the ride. No, you, re- you just reach over at the stand and you get your baby oil. Right. She no tap out, lady. No. I will tap out. I ain't even gonna <laughs> that's, lie. That's I a, will that's tap a limit. Out. That's a limit. Yeah. I can't go. It's, it's, it's not, yes. it's not, it's not, it's not pleasurable. Yes, it's not pleasurable. no. Right. I, anything 
<laughs> I think anything after I can maybe after, anything after like twenty minutes is too much. Okay. I think. Good. Yeah. What? <laughs> you said what? Twenty minutes. <laughs> Tw- twenty minutes. And you and and I know. Have, I'm wrong, and pardon my ignorance. I know she's African? greedy, right? She that, said, that, no, wait. Is that you're so African and you're saying twenty minutes? Yeah, that's so great. So like how many does African have to do with it? Is it is it one hour? Should because, it be like one hour? No, it should, be, should be four heard... minutes. Oh. <laughs> no, wait, I'm... what? Should be should be four minutes, right? I can't stand him. I swear I can't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, six minutes. Oh mm, 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 mm. <laughs> like no, that, I'm just saying minutes. the most. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> That's the warm up. We talking about the warm up thing. I agree. I gotta have a warm up. Wait a minute. So we're not. We're not. I agree. I we're talking when, you, when we say the the twenty it's, minutes. Uh, we're talking about everything, everything included. Yes. You know, okay, oh so. no, no, that's too much. Too small. That's too short. Yeah, like the twenty minutes can be the warm up, and oh, then wow. you get into it. <laughs> well, yeah. no, it depends because a lot of times that, and I'm gonna tell you this because sometimes the. The woman gets impatient. Okay, so that's fine that too. time, that time, you know, goes and if they get there as early, you know, then it's not that they don't want to do it no more. Right. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I'm get up. Let me ask you this then: How long are you stuck in dick? Then? Oh, oh yeah, I ain't doing it that long. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You're not doing it. No, no, I said that long. That long. I, that long. <laughs> um, you know, and early in our marriage, I would take my time. But, the, you know, like I said, the older you get, the less time you need for things. Right. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, yeah. you just like, oh, they, we can whip this out. It ain't going to take that <laughs> long. Hey, to... yo. <laughs> so when I turn 60, this is what I got to look up to. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know, and it's not, you know, it's not just a lot of women just like my hormones are just not there. Like, right. like mm-hmm. I am in full on menopause. So you don't even have that desire. So it, it gets harder and harder the older you get. Really? For right. some women, not for everybody, but for some women. And like, but, right. Because when I turn 30, my sex drive is higher than it's ever been. Right. So that's good. It's, it's going to go good. up. It's going to go up higher till you get about 45. 45. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And it'll start that so decline. So it's normal for your 20s to not be all hyped up. Yeah. I, mean, I, was yeah. Yeah, I think so. I was yeah. late. I lost my virginity at 19. Yeah. So. And what time? I mean, I was, 19. 19. 19. Mm-hmm. 19. I was 19. That's late. That's late in the USA. I know. And when I, I hate you so I much. I was a good girl. I was a very good girl. You know, so. And, and then I turned back. It's like, no, I'm just kidding. Good girl turned <laughs> back. <laughs> I was just, I, I like literally think club. about stuff too much. <laughs> right. Yep. You said, you said, you, 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 said you do think about sex a lot? No, I'm just saying in my when I turned 30, oh, okay. yeah. My my sex drive went higher than it ever was in my 20s. 20s. Right, right. Well, you know, a and lot of times it really is just a hormonal thing. But it, it also could you know, be your where you are. But will it calm down at sixty? Because yeah, maybe, like maybe <laughs> for some. Wait a minute. I mean, she's like twenty minutes. Uh, what? <laughs> it might calm down at sixty. And a lot of people say women, you know, after menopause, have their best sex because you're not worrying about getting pregnant and all of those things. So it just yeah. depends. But then I heard the menopausal women dry up faster. Yes. Oh wow. Yes. Hell no. <laughs> Yes, well, but there there are things for that. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's another requirement. <laughs> see, and it's not, but see, it's not always um, uh, oral sex that'll get it for you if it's a hormonal it's thing. You right. have to, you no, have no, to I'm do something. You know, I hate you so much <laughs> right now. I really do. Wait a minute. So let me ask you something. And this is three. How important? Let, let's say, let's say, on a scale of one to one hundred. How important is that your How about partner? one to ten? One to ten? Yes, <laughs> one to one hundred. All right, so one, one to ten. How important is it for your um your mate to to want and perform oral sex? It's important. Important. So it's you say see, for me, mm. I never liked it up until now. Really? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't with that shit. Oh. And now it's cool here and there, but it's not a requirement for me. Like I'd be like, all right, like. But, but you just talked about sucking dick. <laughs> well, she said because I like doing that. Right, right. So you're well, you're, you're 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 giver. more of a giver, giver. than a receiver. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. Okay. okay, that's good. No, it's a requirement. Yeah, <laughs> it's a requirement. Eight. So eight. So eight. 
Hey, skip me, skip me. No, we're not skipping you. <laughs> no, this, you said she could minute. skip if no, she just wanted to. We ain't no fence sitting. <laughs> no, you said she could skip if she wanted to. All you right, ain't we'll got to tell we'll your skip. business. We'll skip, we'll skip. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Well, skip means yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for you, on a scale of one to ten, now. For heaven. Huh? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It, it depends if it's a part of this warm up joint. It got to be eight. eight. But if we, uh, yeah, it depends. Like I, I'm not saying, hey, eat this shit. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Like you will never hear me say that. If, if, if it goes down that way, then my man just goes down that way. It's not like, oh, I want you to do this. Like because that's never been my. Wait, thing. our, our sex now. only involves the front. How about people that do the like the back? Like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. That's um, they eat the back. That's called. I'm not doing that's that. called. That's called. That's called. <laughs> <laughs> Eating ass. Wait, let's 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 be let's be professional here. It's called analingus. Oh, whatever. <laughs> analingus. That's what it's called. Hey, baby, Are you making you stuff up? No, no, that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the, front is, the front is called lingus. Right. 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 Is in the lingus. In oh, lingus. Wow. Right. Yeah. And I'm then of course the main no, is no, called definitely not into that. Right. That okay. sounds like a disease. So, <laughs> <laughs> so all right, so you're not gonna do it, but would you receive it? No. She said what receive what? Yeah, uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, so no. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. she doesn't want to d- do it that, but she she'll receive it. Ew. But then, and you know what else is weird to me? The toe thing. Yeah, I'm not into that. that. <laughs> the, the, like, the toe fetish. Yeah. So you're into that? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 I'm with you. I'm just like, uh. <laughs> right. So I have a problem with pa- parts of the body. Like, I don't like like things like I feel like my toe, my feet walk on the floor every time. Right. And then right. you had somebody like my ass i poop shit <laughs> right. like your toe jam in my and it looks yeah. like what yeah. how would you want to eat that like serious so also for like the vagina for the the dick it's like it's your private part like that's where you bring out pee <laughs> You know, so all those things, uh, the, uh, yeah. The it pee took doesn't me. come out the vagina. I don't care. It's just a part. It, it's, it, it can splash, whatever. I don't care. Some, some people. So it's like, it's all in my head. It took me a minute to wrap okay, my so brain. Okay, so yeah. is the, the mental part yeah. for you? Yes, it yeah. took me okay. a minute to wrap my brain around that. Okay, maybe, yeah. yeah. But you know, what? It's, so I don't want it to be done to me either. Because I'm like, why do you want to put your mouth there? <laughs> that's, why, that's why you tie them up. Yeah, but. Now, uh, for me, I got hit down there. <laughs> uh, and and um, I didn't like it after that. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Why do you want to go in? Why do you want to do that? Like, I, why do like I want to do, do that too? Like, I mean, oh, while we talking about this, are we having anal sex? Yes. No. No. Yes. No. What? Yes. No. What, I didn't hear what no. you anal said. Sex. Anal sex. No. All right. So Hell this is this, no. is this is a, this is a good topic right here. But we're, we're gonna, gonna take a break. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually wanna we need a word of the day. Oh, we need a word of the day. Felonious. Angel English. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! You know what? Actually, this one's gonna be on the uh, the, the private one too because this is getting a little okay. So, analingus so, is gonna so be the word of the day. I gotta find out how to spell it. Analingus. <laughs> analingus. Right, anal, analingus. 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 Right. So, um, we gotta come back for part two. Okay. Because <laughs> definitely, this is the, the part two. We're gonna actually go into more in depth in the actual sex part. The um the do's the don'ts the performance the how okay. how would you like this to be done? Okay. And all that type of stuff. So. Um, I'm gonna thank the guests from coming yes, in. Yes, thank Heaven. you. You guys join us for the next enjoy one. Enjoy when you come in. Thank you. And definitely, um, again, hit us up on www.hottopics t o p i x podcast dot com and check out part two of what is the name of this thing? What women want? What women want? Love and something. Life. <laughs> Love and life. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready. Get prepared for part two because we want to really go into it. So um, you might want to take a a few sips before we uh, start. Oh, boy. Okay. (laughs) All right. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, family, for listening to the latest episode of Hot Topics. As usual, listen, like, share, subscribe. Ta. This is what I'm doing.